Sometimes scientists do things that seem kind of impossible. Like, in a paper that came out on Monday, they took memories from one group of sea slugs and stuck them in other sea slugs. So that second group seemed to remember something that had never happened to them. It's an amazing feat of science, and it could someday help us understand human memory. But it's also a little spooky. This experiment, which was published in the journal eNeuro, was part of our decades-long search for an engram, a physical thing in our brain that contains our memories. For the record, we we haven't found one yet. The most common idea says that long-term memories are probably housed in the connections between neurons. But some researchers believe that they're stored in your non-coding RNA somehow. RNA is best known for helping your cells create proteins. It's kind of like a recipe created from the information in DNA. But non-coding RNA isn't involved in making proteins. There are lots of different types, and we're still figuring out everything those molecules can do. And with this new paper, we have more evidence that one of their jobs could involve memory. In this study, scientists repeatedly prodded the tails of 34 sea slugs, called California sea hares. Each poke triggered a defense reflex where they suck their tails inside their bodies. Normally, they probably do this to protect their sensitive, squishy parts from predators. But, you know, it's good for science, too. The more the researchers poked, the longer that reflex lasted. And after two days of this, the sea slugs had been trained to keep their tails in about 60 seconds longer than they had at the start. Then the scientists took samples of RNA from the sea slugs' nerve systems and injected them into the circulatory systems of another group of sea slugs, ones who didn't get any tail prods. And after the injection, these new sea slugs also performed the tail reflex about 40 seconds longer than normal. It wasn't quite as long as the trained group, but the change was big enough to suggest that the sea slugs had basically been injected with the memories of the first group. Or at least something in their nervous system changed and made their tail reflexes last longer. After follow-up experiments, the researchers believe this happened because that non-coding RNA somehow triggered DNA methylation. This is when methyl groups get attached to specific parts of DNA, and it usually stops the production of certain proteins. So maybe that, in turn, altered something in the sea slug's neurons. There's still a lot to figure out, though, like how non-coding RNAs cause methylation, and how methylation changes sea slug neurons, and ultimately memories. And we can't say for sure that this works the same way in humans. But if it did, it would put us one step closer to understanding where our memories live inside of our heads, and how we might be able to alter them, which is all kinds of weird. Now, if you need a breather after all that, well, we've got the study for you. For years, scientists have noticed that controlled breathing, like from certain meditation practices, can provide all kinds of cognitive benefits, including improved focus. And according to a paper published last Thursday in the journal Psychophysiology, we might have figured out why. It all has to do with a little structure in your brain stem called the locus ceruleus, or the LC. And the LC affects a lot of things, including your respiratory system. It's linked to nerves that remind your body to keep breathing even when you're not thinking about it. As a result, the activity of this region is influenced by how much carbon dioxide is in your body. When there's more CO2, like when you inhale, your LC fires more often. And the opposite is true when you exhale and your CO2 levels drop. Now, the LC has another job, too. It's your brain's main producer of a neurotransmitter called noradrenaline, or norepinephrine, which is a major player in your ability to focus. The tricky thing is, your brain has kind of a sweet spot for noradrenaline levels. If there's not enough of it, you don't feel stimulated, so it's hard to focus. But if there's too much, you feel overstimulated or anxious, so you still can't focus. According to this new study, controlled breathing could help. See, as you inhale and your LC fires faster, it also produces slightly more noradrenaline. And it produces slightly less as you exhale. So by controlling your breathing, the author suggests that you can actually optimize those noradrenaline levels and your focus. In their study, they tracked the locus ceruleus activity of 14 participants during two phases, an 8-minute rest and a 20-minute listening task. In the task, they had to pay attention and respond as fast as possible to mostly random tones, which could pop up anywhere between 2.5 and 3.5 seconds apart. To monitor their brain activity, the team used fMRI scans and tracked participants' pupil dilation, since previous work has shown that's a good indicator of locus ceruleus activity. And they found that participants who were better at the listening activity had more synchronization between their breathing and the task. Their inhales and exhales were more in phase
days with those two to three second intervals. And they probably weren't trying to do that. Instead, the scientists thought that their focus levels were actually changing their breathing to have the right amount of CO2 for the amount of LC activity. The researchers suggested this wasn't a one-way street, either, that controlling your breathing can influence noradrenaline production and how focused you are. This was the first study to find a biological link between breathing and cognition in humans, so we need more papers to know anything for sure. But the next time you're struggling to pay attention in class or during a meeting, maybe try taking a deep breath or two. Thanks for watching this episode of SciShow. If you'd like to keep up with the latest science news and all the other mind-boggling stuff out there, you can go to youtube.com slash scishow and subscribe. Thank you